Grommet surgery is when the child has a grommet, which is a very small tube around three millimeters inside, in size, which is inserted into the eardrum, one on each side, under a short general anesthetic. The idea is that it lets any fluid out and lets fresh air in to ventilate the space behind the eardrum. And that can make the ear much healthier uh, and improve problems, particularly ear infections and glue ear, which can affect hearing. So the most common indications are recurring ear infections, typically in younger children, and also slightly older children who may have glue ear. In the first instance, the ear infections are infections which are behind the eardrum, what we call middle ear infections. It's most common in those children who are around one or two years old, and quite often associated with coughs and colds and upper respiratory infections. By inserting grommets, typically the number of ear infections and the associated pain is much less. The alternate circumstance is when a child has glue ear, which can be related to infections, but sometimes separate. And it's a buildup of thick fluid behind the eardrums, often on both sides, which is quite persistent and not improving on its own. And that affects the hearing. As a result, that can affect social engagement, school progress, as well as speech development. So it's a very short general anesthetic and under a microscope, we examine the eardrum and clean out any earwax. Then we make a very small two or three millimeter incision in the eardrum and gently place a grommet in. And a grommet is the shape of a dumbbell. So it sits quite nicely in place in the eardrum. At the, at the same time, we usually irrigate and flush out some of the fluid at the same time. Generally, it's considered to be a very short, very safe operation. There is always a very small risk of general, general anesthetic, but particularly in a children's center with an anesthetist who looks after children regularly, this risk should be very low. Occasionally, a child will have a very small amount of bloody discharge in the first couple of days from their ears, and they will often have ear drops to help flush this out. Children can get the occasional infection with grommets, although typically this is less than before they've been put in. And then once the grommets fall out, on average, it's around nine to 12 months after insertion. And there's around a 1% chance that a child could be left with a little hole in the eardrum even after the grommet fell out. In many circumstances, this actually isn't much of a problem because it means the ear still functions like there's a grommet there, so often still stays quite healthy. It's a very quick recovery. Children will feel a little bit groggy after the general anesthetic for a couple of hours. The pain is very mild. Most children may want one or two doses of paracetamol, Calpol, in the first 24 hours. Many children the following morning are ready to go back to nursery or to school.